Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, a show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learn you good. And just like last week, we're tackling yet another flash effect, answering this request from the Gordon 314 who asked, will you make a tutorial about how to make an effect of the flash running around the city from an overlook perspective? Of course we can, my friend. And unlike every other flash tutorial I've made thus far, we won't be using any lightning. No, this time we'll be using light streaks we animate ourselves. But unlike a bunch of other tutorials out there, we won't be using any third-party plugins. So you don't have to pay, so savings. Now in order to complete this effect, all we need is some stock footage of a city from an overhead perspective like this. You can download the clip in the description, guys. More savings. All right, that's everything. Let's get to work. Okay guys, this one is a pretty easy one to accomplish. If we take a quick look at an excerpt from episode 17 of The Flash, we can see the effect that we're trying to imitate. Since he's moving so fast, Barry's essentially just a glowing line that's all blurry. So you'll never guess what we're making. If you guessed a blurred glowy line, give yourself a high five. So here's how we do that. First off, let's grab our city footage and drop that into a comp. From there, let's scrub forward a couple of seconds, hit N on the keyboard, and we'll just section off a small selection of this comp to work with. From there, let's head up and add a new solid. Before we get started on our mask path, let's just turn off the solid layer, because we don't need to see it. We'll then grab the pen tool and draw a mask where we want our flash to travel. Up and around these cars and maybe around this corner, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll then head outside the comp and link it back up with the start of our mask. Before we continue, let's grab our mask point here, right click, head up to mask and path and designate this as our first point or our first vortex. Now, here's where our streak comes in. We'll head up to effect, generate and add Vegas, baby. Ever used this before? I haven't. Now saddle in guys, cause we have quite a few settings to tweak here. We'll change the stroke to mask path and change it to mask one. We'll change the segments to one change that length to anywhere from 0.07 to 0.210. We'll then come back to that rotation there in a sec. Moving on to rendering, we'll change the blend mode to transparent, the color to an orangey red, that's pretty good, the width to around 3.5, the hardness to around 0.680, the start opacity to zero, the midpoint opacity to minus 0,350 and the end opacity, well we're just going to crank that right up to 1. Now that we've finished setting up the streak in Vegas, let's turn that solid layer back on and see what we've done. Next, let's head back to that rotation. If we rotate forward, you can see our streak moves around our mask path. Pretty cool, eh? So let's zero it out. Now you may find that you might have to dial it back to around about minus 76 to minus 80 to get that streak completely off screen. Hit the stopwatch, move forward about 7 frames, and then rotate it until our streak is completely off screen. Let's check out a preview. It's getting there. Let's then hit Control shift d splitting the clip, and delete that end part, because we don't need it. But it needs a little motion blur, so let's head over to Presets and type Force and add a CC Force Motion Blur. We'll then crank that up to around 125 to get a nice blur going. But we ain't done yet, folks. He needs a glow. So let's head up to Effect, Stylize and add a glow. Let's change the threshold to 50%, the radius to 5 and the intensity to 1.7. You know what? Let's get crazy and add another glow. I think we deserve it and you know where it is. This time around, the only thing we're going to change is the radius, we're just going to bump that up to 80%. Now let's check out a preview. That looks pretty damn cool I think. Now just in case you don't like the path you've created or it's a little weird, since the shot is moving, you may find your streak accidentally goes over a car or into the side of a building or something. You can always go right back in there and adjust any point of that mask path you like. Before you adjust the mask path, just uh, turn off the glow and the CC force motion blur effects because it'll make it a little bit easier and quicker to render as you're adjusting. But I hear you ask, Grant, you egg-headed bastard. We don't just want one stinking streak. The flash has to run around a lot. I agree. So here's how we do that. Duplicate our solid, move it along the timeline a little bit, 
head up, grab the pen tool, and let's draw a new mask on that solid. Just like our last one, we'll make him run up the street this time maybe. Once you're done, all you do is go up to Vegas and change the path from mask one to mask two. And bam, we now have another streak. Let's check out a preview. Nice, but just like last week, let's add a little cherry on top with a little light rays. So head up to effect, generate and add a CC light rays. This time around, all we're gonna do is put the center of the light rays in our mask path, like so. We'll then copy it and paste it into our second streak and move it into position. You can adjust the intensity if you like as well, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Let's take a look at the effect now. Looks pretty sweet. Now guys, I'm gonna skip ahead and add a couple more streaks, so let's take a look at the final shot. So that's the flash running from an aerial perspective, guys. It's not too hard to get that streak animated and pumping along nicely, and the end result looks pretty fresh. As always, thank you so much for watching, gang. If you enjoyed the episode, please like and share. If you're new around these parts, Supersonic, punch that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, check out the Facebook page. Next week, we're beside ourselves with yet another sweet reverse flash effect. So until that happens, keep learning.